What's up YouTube, Dougie Chong here. Welcome to today's episode where I'll be reviewing the Simply Cashback Visa card. If you've watched any of my previous YouTube videos, you'll know that I like to turn through different credit cards and get their welcome bonus offers. In this video, I'll be looking at the welcome bonus offer, some of the features of this card, and whether I recommend getting this card or not. I do not personally have this card, and the only Simply products I have is a high interest savings account and the no fee checking account. Right off the bat, one of the best things about getting this card right now is that there's a welcome bonus of a $250 Presto voucher. If you use Presto at all, this is a great welcome bonus offer considering most cards only offer a welcome bonus that has a value of about $150. You also get 10% cash back on all eligible restaurant purchases up to $500 spend. This last sentence shows how the card is geared more towards smaller spenders since $500 divided over 4 months is about $125 per month and I can easily spend that much just by lunches, not to mention dinners. The other interesting thing to note about this card is that there's no minimum spend to get the welcome bonus offer. However, there are two conditions to get this offer. First, you must get the card beginning on May 14th, which has already passed, so it's more of making sure that this offer is still going on. Second, you must add two pre-authorized payments for three consecutive months. Pre-authorized payments can be things such as gym memberships, Netflix fees, phone bills, etc. This is a really interesting requirement and is a thing that simply seems to do a lot. To get the $400 welcome bonus on the no fee checking account, you have to set up a recurring direct deposit. The idea is that once you set these recurring payments to the new card, you'll be too lazy to change it back and then they have your business for life. I personally put all my recurring transactions on a TD Cashback Visa Infinite card that gives 3% cash back on all recurring transactions. Alright, now let's get into some of the features of this card. Unlike a lot of other credit cards, there is absolutely no annual fee to getting this card, meaning there's absolutely no downside to this card, except for maybe a small ding to your credit score. Other cards, such as the Amex Cobalt card, have better offers, but they have fees, so you kind of have to work out the math if it's worth it or not. The interest rate of 20.99% is pretty standard, and the minimum household income of 15000 means most employed people can get this card and even a lot of part-timers. Simply is really trying hard to make this the first credit card you get and then hopefully you stick with it. Without a doubt, the best feature of this card is 4% cash back on restaurants, bar, and coffee purchases. I haven't seen a no-fee card with something comparable. It's even pretty close to the Amex Cobalt card which gives 5 Amex points for every dollar spent. There is a caveat that it's limited to $5,000 a year, which is fine with me. I might go a little over this depending on how many big dinners I have throughout the year. They also offer 1.5% on gas, grocery, drugstore, and pre-authorized payments up to $15,000 per year. This isn't too bad, especially since you have to set up two pre-authorized payments to get the welcome bonus offer. But like I mentioned earlier, there are better credit cards for these categories. And finally, you get 0.5% on everything else. This is what you really want to try to avoid. There are better overall cards for just overall categories, such as the Rogers World Elite credit card, which gives 1.5% on absolutely everything. The other thing about this card is that it doesn't have a lot of extra features such as travel insurance or lounge access, so it's a very bare bones type of credit card. Now let's get into whether I recommend this credit card or not. I recommend that everyone should at least try to get the welcome bonus offer. $250 is quite good. However, beyond that, I only recommend that a certain subset of people should continue to use this card. 
If you are disciplined and you can only use this card for restaurants and then use a different card for other things, then this is a great card for you. If you are one of those people that just like to use one card for absolutely everything, then maybe this card is not the best since if you average it out with the 0.5% other category, you really are not getting the most optimal cash back. Fortunately, technology such as Apple Pay has really helped with this. I don't have to carry around so many physical cards. I can just change my payment method with a simple swipe and a tap. In conclusion, if you're looking for a good welcome bonus offer and a great cashback card for restaurants, this is a great no fee card to get. That's it for this video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Enjoy the rest of your day and see you in the next video.